Welcome to the latest edition of Inside Carolina. I'm your host, Hannah Hall. Yes, a new last name. I'm recently married, but still the same proud alumna of the university. Well, it's been a quiet summer on campus. It's the calm before the sandstorm, but fall semester is upon us. Get ready. Welcome, you Gamecocks. Well, in this episode, we're going to tell you how the university is pairing students with internships and support so that they can harness all of the things they're passionate about and find fulfilling careers. And you are in for a real treat, like right out of the Jetsons. Meet a USC student and his robotic four-legged friend. Yeah, you heard me right. A robotic four-legged friend. Find out about the innovative ways students are realizing their dreams at USC. Join us as we go Inside Carolina. Up first, let's head inside of the College of Information and Communications Kennedy Greenhouse Studio and meet USC's Vice President of Student Affairs and Academic Support. The University of South Carolina is connecting our students with hands-on training, valuable resources, and real-world scenarios even before they graduate. Rex Tolliver is here. He's with the Division of Student Affairs and Academic Support. Rex, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. This South Carolina internship program seems like a real game changer for young people that uh, may be looking for a job and pairing them inside of really critical career fields. How does it work? Research has shown that experiential education is foundational to a student's success in college, but also being able to obtain a career. And we're fortunate that we have the support of the General Assembly who provided some uh, funding for us to provide internships for students who are in high demand industries in the state, such as automotive, um, manufacturing, banking and finance. It, it is an opportunity for our students to be connected to businesses here in the state. So this funding will help pay some of their expenses while they're working, is that how it works? Absolutely, not only will it help pay some of their expenses while they're working, it will also help them afford their internship and be able to take the experience. One of the things that we have found is some students would like to be able to do it, but can't afford to. I can just think back to uh, when I was in college, my internship was completely unpaid in Atlanta. Pretty expensive, right? What a great program. Tell me about the high, uh, the, the high impact jobs that we're talking about um, in those specific critical career fields. What are they again? So again, it's automotive, uh, it's advanced manufacturing, it's finance, uh, it's healthcare. Uh, so we're looking at uh, insurance. So things where the state has made investments uh, in recruiting businesses to the state. It's important for us to ensure that we have successful communities throughout the state of South Carolina. So yes, people love Greenville. Yes, people love Charleston. They love Columbia and they love Myrtle Beach but we also care about Allendale and we care about the PD. And this opportunity allows us to place those students in some of those communities as well. Rex, what are some of the other ways that the university and the Career Center are preparing students for the job market? Well, we're working to ensure that our students have, one, a career coach. Uh, students come in, they have ideas about what they want to do because they saw this or parents said this or someone in the community said, I think you would be good at X but they're not sure about it. And so we have those career coaches who are assigned to our students to help guide them and navigate, talk through uh, circumstances, situations that they wanna go through. And on the South Carolina internship program, in terms of the workforce development initiatives within the state, you guys are always leveling up. You're always hearing from those employers, you're hearing from students. Uh, plans are in the works to expand, to grow it? Yes, we're expanding the program. Uh, the program is being expanded to meet the needs of the state that are ever-changing. Uh, and we're supporting the new state workforce development plan, which is being developed and implemented that will support positions across the state of South Carolina. We're gonna be now expanding to over 20 different areas of industry within the state with the program. Well, it's so exciting to think about that as students come back on to campus this month, as they're beginning their university career here, that you are already thinking about where they're gonna work one day. Absolutely. Rex, thank you so much for you and your team and all you're doing inside of the Division of Student Affairs and Academic Support. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Now let's head off campus to the Bull Street District. We'll meet up with USC senior Braden Giuliano. We'll hear about his internship with Scout Motors and the impact he's making already as a student. 
Braden, thanks so much for joining us. I would be remiss if I didn't first ask about our four-legged robotic friend. Uh, what's its name? So right now his name is Spot, but just a little hint that might be changing very soon. And a little bit more about this, you're completely right, it's a furless friend for sure. This is an autonomous visual inspection platform. So it's a robot built by a company called Boston Dynamics, and they specialize in building autonomous robots that can go many different places. Um, at least this one's purpose is on a manufacturing floor and completely autonomously can go up to assets on the floor, do an inspection, and then report, again, completely autonomously to an operator on standby what it's found. Because it, it has lenses to see, so to speak, right? And it's front and uh, two, two or three in the front. And so it's looking at things moving and working. And did you program this? No, no, definitely not. I program aspects of it. So let me backtrack for a second. When you mentioned the sensors, there's a lot more than two or three for sure. So you were right about the front. So there are two sensors array arrays on the front, one on each side, one in the back, and then one in the gripper as well. This allows Spot to always see his environment. And because it also has, has depth tracking, it can also determine how far it is away from the object. It also has a couple of other sensors. This one we actually mounted over at the university. This is a FLIR A700. It's a thermal imaging camera. So in addition to just doing basic inspections with a normal camera, you can also look at thermal, uh, the heat signatures. It's got a LiDAR sensor in the back. That allows it to see uh, a larger area than its cameras can and detect exactly where it is when it's doing those autonomous missions. And while I didn't program the, the code that is running right now, that's letting it walk, that's letting it stand here, um, I was able to create a couple of scripts that allow it to talk to this thermal camera since this doesn't come with the robot. And with its SDK, which is open sourced by Boston Dynamics, you can actually control its movement, its inspection paths, you can add more sensors if you'd like, and even create entire dashboards that you can show on the tablet that controls it. So you are a senior at the university, engineering major, mm -hmm. and how are you using Spot now in your intern with Scout Motors? Yep, I'm an IT major at USC, and here at Scout, we've been using him to perform exactly what it's built for, so those visual inspection tasks on the factory floor. As you know, Scout is building a new plant over in Blythewood, so we've had the opportunity to go do some testing uh, with USC interns, and of course my internship here at Scout, to use this robot and explore some of the possibilities that we can uh, use this technology here at Scout. So performing again those visual inspection tasks where without any human involvement, Spot can walk around autonomously on the factory floor and look at assets, look at heat signatures and making sure everything's running properly. How important are these kinds of internships and interactions outside of the classroom for students that are, are coming through USC? Very important. So academics are great. That's where you learn those core foundations of the technologies that you'll be using. But when you go into applying your skills, that's where you need those outside connections, those other opportunities. So internships, uh, clubs, I was a part of a couple of those in middle school and high school, and just other networking opportunities. So going to career fairs. Those are really important because they allow you to apply the skills that you're learning in class and connect with other people that have more knowledge than you because you can learn so much from them. And in mine's experience, actually get access to a whole lot of opportunities that you wouldn't necessarily if you just focus primarily on academics. You get to meet some really cool people, you get to network. And to anyone that's also looking at this route, I'd say look for those opportunities. You never know where they'll pop up. So nice to meet you and best of luck in continuing your senior year. And uh, we just look for great things from you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Our special thanks to Scout Motors for hosting us inside of their Columbia Connection Center and for providing incredible hands-on opportunities for students like Braden. If you enjoy this episode, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and fellow alumni, and we'll see you next time inside Carolina.